Rick Scott, who seemed pretty disingenuous when he met you, from my take at least, from what you've said, um, calling for na- telling you guys to pray, calling for a national day of prayer and stuff, is also being pretty undemocratic. So this, you know, he prides himself on the process, and he's a big guy for meeting with you, but like he actually doesn't want to have this discussion. It seems like. Would you agree with that? Um, I, I do agree with, with that. You know, when we first went into the meeting, somebody, one of the dream defenders who was in there, he actually complimented Governor Scott on the boots he was wearing. And then he, um, Governor Scott pulled up his boots to show us what was on them. You know, it had some flags on them, one of, a few of which were Confederate flags. And God, then, you I know, knew that was going to happen. The French who, who colonized Florida and then the United States flag. And he kind of, like, made a joke of it and asked us some history questions. But... Again, it's like, you know, you're meeting with a group of people who are all Latino, who are all black, and they're sharing their experiences with you about racial profiling in this state. And then... And you're showing you know, off your Confederate flag boots. Their boots and just... Even... He just made, like, snarky remarks every time, like, you know, we told our stories. For example, I talked about the fact that, like, my parents moved up down here from Boston. And, you know, my mom, like, like literally came here because of, of the amount of jobs that were available. You know, this is, like a huge tourist place. So my mom came here to work at Disney. And so it's like whenever we brought up something, he would just like shake his head and be like, oh, yeah, I know Disney. Or, you know, one of our people from Miami was like, you know, I've lived in Miami. I was literally homeless for this amount of time. And, and Governor Scott literally said, oh, well, where in Miami? I know Miami by hospitals because, you know, I'm in the hospital business. So it was kind of just like he proved to us that he, he, he has no connection or no feeling as far as what we're saying because he has no idea what we're talking about. He's very privileged and unaware of what it is to, to be a young person of color in this in the state. 